Hello and welcome back to Banksia Cove. I'm Taryn. In my previous video where I made my shampoo and conditioner bars, I mentioned that I was going to go ahead and make some products for myself and hubby. So I have gone um, online recently and I purchased this book. And today I'm going to be making the vanilla rose bath melts out of it, as well as the, get the wording correct, warm toes lotion bars for hubby. So the first one I'm gonna be making today is the vanilla rose bath melts. Now I don't wanna go ahead and give away somebody else's recipe, so if you do wanna go ahead and make this, please go ahead and purchase the book. I got this one from Amazon. So I'm going to be using the double boiler method today to melt down my shea butter. Shea is a little bit more, um, sorry, shea butter is a little bit more fragile than the other butters. It doesn't really like to be overheated. It can go a little bit grainy because that is the sole butter that I'm using today and I'm only using a small amount of it. I am going to use the double boiler method. Um, when I tend to be, um, melting shea butter with other butters like cocoa butter, mango butter or any of those, I do tend to just do them in 30 second bursts in the microwave, depending again on how much. If it's a larger batch, I'll do it in one minute bursts. Um, I haven't had any issues with doing that, um, but I am particularly, because it's shea alone today, I'm gonna to be using the double boiler method. So let's go ahead and make the vanilla rose bath melt. So what I wanna do firstly is I wanna go ahead and melt my butter. going to break this one up some more and I'll now go ahead guys and speed through this bit um, as I weigh everything out get everything melted and broken down
Okay, so that is the Vanilla Rose Bath Melts made. And then we will come back shortly and we will make the Warm Toes Lotion Bars. Okay, so we are back and now we're going to do the Warm Toes Lotion Bath. So um, this one needs to have the herbs infused with the oil um, for two hours, just being two hours on here, keeping it at a temperature of about 45 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh out my oil. This one is this cute little bee mold here. Put our herbs in here, ready for the infusion. Our calendula petals, I think that's how you say that. strained off. Mix that into our melted oil. And we are now going to infuse that for two hours. I'll see you guys back here when we're ready for the next step. Okay, so that has now infused for two hours. I'm going to strain this off and add it to our other ingredients. And then we're going to melt this down, which will take about 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm just going to strain this through one of my tea bags, hopefully. this with our other ingredients back on to double boil for another 30 to 40 minutes while our other ingredients melt down and then we'll be ready to add our essential oil and pour it into our mold I'll see you guys back here when that's ready to do that okay so those ingredients have now all melted down and we are ready to add in our essential oil and pour it into our mold so I'm just going to weigh my essential oil out Thank you. 
and we're just gonna go ahead and pour it into a mold. So once these and the bath melts are all set up, I will bring you guys back here to demold them. I'll see you guys back here then. Okay, so these are ready to demold. These are the bath melts that we made, the vanilla and rose bath melts. So I'll just lower this down. I'm going to take them out of the mold. Okay, so that is one. Last one. So in the time it took me to make the warm toes lotion bars, uh, these ones were all set up. I popped them in the fridge to firm them up. And then I'm just gonna store them in a cool and dry place. Um, I don't think our summer will obviously be appropriate for them. Um, I would have to keep them in the fridge that time of year. Um, but to be honest, I don't normally have too many baths in summer anyway. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these away. And then when the warm toes lotion bars are ready, I'll be back to demold those. Okay, so we're back and these have been in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes. And I'm just going to take them out of the mold and pop them into this container all ready to use. It turned out so cute. The way you use these is just like a normal lotion. You use the warmth of your body to melt the bar a little bit, rub it onto your feet, pop your socks on, and then go to bed. that is it I will go ahead and pop these onto hubby's bedside table ready for you to use and that is it for this video I'll see you guys again at the next one bye for now